Hello and welcome to this Spotlight episode on New South Wales Government Railways number 18, the oldest surviving long boiler locomotive in Australia. And I'd like to apologise in advance if I mispronounce any Aussie place names. Number 18 was built in Newcastle-upon-Tyne by Robert Stevenson and Company in 1865. During the 1860s, the railway network in New South Wales was expanding and they were looking for a powerful locomotive to work heavy freight trains over routes which could be as steeply graded as 1 in 40 or 1 in 30. The first six members of what would become the E17 class were ordered in 1864 and delivered between 1865 and 1867. Eventually 11 would be built by Stevenson's in Newcastle and a further 12 were assembled locally, having been shipped from Britain in kit form by J.S. Morton Partners in Sydney and six by Henry Vale and Company. In total, 23 locomotives were produced, of which seven operated on the isolated northern section of the New South Wales Government Railway system around Newcastle. They were built to standard gauge and have four feet damaged driving wheels placed between the smoke box and the firebox. The inside cylinders measure 18 by 24 inches with Stevenson link valve gear. Working boiler pressure was 120 psi and in working order number 18 weighs 26.5 tonnes, the tender adding a further 11.5 tonnes. These locomotives were the biggest then in use in New South Wales with attractive effort of over £15,500. Number 18 and her sister number 19 sailed for Australia in November 1865 on board the SS Sydney Dacre. She began working in New South Wales in September 1866. In October 1877, she was reboiled, which increased her weight to 33 tonnes. The E17 class, however, had relatively short working lives, the first being withdrawn in 1889. The E17 class were gradually replaced by the A93 class, a more powerful development of the same basic design. They were built mostly by Bayer Peacock in Manchester, with some being built by Henry Vale and two examples from the works of Robert Stevenson. There were eventually 77 members of this class put into traffic progressively from 1877 to 1890. The last A93 built by Bayer Peacock in 1877 was still in service as late as 1972 and we look at this locomotive in her own video. Number 18 was transferred to the X or non-revenue list as X18 in September 1891. She was withdrawn during the following year and in March 1897 was sold to the Southern Coal Company and used at the Unandera Colliery working coal trains. It was whilst doing so in 1900 that she lost her chimney on the Kira Street Bridge on the Wollongong Harbour Railway. Twelve years later, in September 1912, number 18 was transferred to the coke works at Coromel, where she would work until being dismantled for overhaul in 1963. Whilst employed at Coromel Colliery, she lost her original tender and gained a second-hand one from C-Class Locomotive number 150, sometime around the August of 1950. Number 18 entered preservation on the 18th of September 1964, when she was obtained by the Rail Transport Museum of New South Wales and, on the following day, was transported by rail to Chalora for restoration. Her boiler was put back in the frame on the 23rd of November 1964 and the cosmetic restoration was completed by the October of 1965 and she was then stored in the goods shed at Peterson Sidings. Between 1972 and 1975, she was displayed at the Enfield Rail Transport Museum before going to her present home and the New South Wales Railway Museum in Thirlmere in June 1975. So that's been a quick look at number 18, one of Australia's oldest locomotives, built in Britain by Robert Stevenson and Company in 1865. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please leave a comment below. You can also show your appreciation by liking, sharing, subscribing, and clicking the notification bell. I would also like to make a special thank you to Martin Hartley of Sydney for assisting with the research and helping to make this video possible. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.